Hello, welcome to my channel, my name is Jun. So on March 24th, the new documentary Seaspiracy was released on Netflix. It unearthed the seafood or fishing industry's darkest secrets, the alarming global corruption, including its illegal activities in the oceans, destruction of oceans, ocean life decimation from overfishing, bycatch, how it affects climate change, and even human trafficking within the industry. It was created or produced by Kip Anderson, one of the directors of the documentaries Cowspiracy and What the Hell. So yes, this is the sea sister of Cowspiracy, if you will. Now, thanks to Plant Based News for drawing attention to the leaked pre planned attack by the fishing industry on the documentary. And the leaked document came from the National Fisheries Institute, which is an organization that makes up most of the US fishing industry or seafood businesses. And what's so funny about this is that as you can see, that this article was published on March the 16th. The documentary had not been released yet. All that was available by then was the official trailer, which doesn't even state any facts. So this was really just a plan to attack Seaspiracy. And basically, someone who's affiliated with a member of the organization decided to blow the whistle. And here it is. NFI member alert. Vegan activist horror film set to stream on Netflix, covering everything from overfishing, bycatch, and shark finning to human trafficking. It is not. It is, unfortunately. Here are some facts. 75% of the world's fisheries are exploited, and fishing has wiped out 90% of the world's large fish. 300,000 thousand dolphins and whales are killed by fishing operations every year. 30,000 sharks every hour. For every pound of fish caught, up to 5 pounds of unintended marine species are caught and discarded as bykill. And we could have fishless oceans by the year 2048 if we kept fishing at the same rate as we do now. As many as 24,000 fisheries workers die doing their job every year. And it's among the most dangerous occupations in the world. I'm not using any footage or clip from the actual documentary aside from the trailer because I really want you to watch it. And that was not a summary of the film. The leaked document says, Being a vegan or environmental champion are life choices, but hijacking a lifestyle while disingenuously targeting an industry that provides billions of healthy meals and employs 1.7 million Americans is an unacceptable and dishonest attack. I'm not gonna mention how healthy seafood really is in this video, but speaking of the jobs, true, it's a large industry, but we don't say the same and defend the tobacco industry or nuclear power industry around the world, etc. simply because of the jobs. Yes, being a vegan is a life choice based on ethics, which are, of course, subjective, but we don't say the same for child abuse, do we? Now, you might be thinking what I'm saying is completely irrelevant, but it is. While the fishing industry seems to be very caring for the people, there exist controversial issues in the seafood supply chains in terms of human rights. According to this article by Supply Chain Dive, the fishing industry accounts for 11% of the global enslaved population. While it seems like something we, living in a developed country, are never a part of, this study by Science Advances says that in 2016, widespread forced labor in seafood work has been reported in 47 countries, with incidents reported in New Zealand, Ireland, the United States, and Taiwan. Now, if you look at the members of the National Fisheries Institute, you can see that the organization is made up of multiple big, big US corporations that do involve in the horrific violation of human rights, either directly or indirectly. This is part of the reasons why the industry is so worried, desperate, and defensive about this documentary. I will get deep into this in my upcoming educational video in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that. Now, going back to the document, they call this education on ethics, the environment, and human rights dishonest. And on their website, they say that the film is not a documentary but a propaganda. They also wrote a letter to Netflix. They're actually going after Netflix for their lack of oversight when it comes to the presentation of facts. Again, without having watched the documentary. Those documentary films and vegan campaigns tell the truth from experts and based on science, peer-reviewed studies and reports, and encourage the general public to make informed and conscious decisions and live a lifestyle that benefits themselves, other humans, non-human animals, and the planet. That's the whole point. Okay, you can call this however you like, but on the other hand, the industry, who call those vegan propaganda, is putting together an attack plan and friendly talking points even before the release of the documentary while hiding those dark secrets, including the aforementioned human rights issue, which sounds more like a propaganda to you. It's the same thing again. Fishing industry is just one of the many within the big animal exploitation industry that do this. Meat industry does the same. Dairy industry has been doing this constantly. This is nothing new but the marketing, the mislabeling, the use of images or words like free range, high welfare, 
or RSPCA approved that eased the consumer's conscience when buying those unethical products, misinformation especially when it comes to sustainability and nutrition despite the proven health risks of consuming meat and dairy and other animal products including seafood, and spending billions of the taxpayers' money promoting the unhealthy, unethical, and environmentally destructive products that people would not even buy if they were actually told the truth is nothing but propaganda. Alright anyways, this is what's been going on in terms of the environment environmental issues. The goal of this channel is not to roast the industry, but educate people. And this film, Seaspiracy, does a remarkable job documenting the reality, the urgent global corruption, horrific things that are happening in our oceans, and what we're doing to our planet. It is truly eye-opening and life-changing. Please watch it and educate yourself and others, your friends and family, as we are all collectively responsible for protecting our oceans, our home. Okay, so as I said earlier, my next few educational videos will be on the violation of human rights by the fishing and animal agriculture industry. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.